Welcome aboard. The dead roam those halls. At first, Emily assumed the voice was her own, an echo bouncing off the building's facade. She continued toward the entrance nonetheless, brushing the cliché away as though it were just another snowflake caught on her coat. Every one of her steps ushered the cinderblock structure closer until it loomed overhead, and as she passed into its shadow, Emily found herself admiring how the building managed to be both nondescript and foreboding at the same time a balancing act of utilitarian blandness that screamed government institution. The voice spoke again. No, not just spoke. It came at her. That place belongs to the dead. She paused. The speaker wasn't in her head, rather somewhere to her right. An old woman with wild gray hair dressed in black. Emily knew she shouldn't be unsettled, that she was above all the theatrical bullshit that came with this territory. Yet she felt her stomach nodding anyway. The dead roam those halls, repeated, of course, for emphasis. And worst of all, it fucking worked. I know. The old woman's expression was pinched into a familiar mask of fear and desperation. Familiar, yes, but from where? Emily clutched her coat, though the chill rippling through her nerve endings had little to do with winter's grip and more to do with that face. And then it came to her, the coalescence of a memory the jigsaw of a half-remembered dream coming back together again. Yes, of course. The rat. Four nights before, after tucking Lucette into bed with a head full of prayers, Now I lay me down to sleep. There came the snap of the trap. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Emily tiptoed into the kitchen, the floorboards of her ancient rental creaking underfoot, a sound that would have alerted the living to her presence on any other evening, although she suspected she was now dealing with the dead, the almost dead, as the stuttering fluorescent proved. The rat, which had been making meals out of their dry goods for the past two months, had been caught. Emily drew near, could smell the funk of dust and copper as the night thief kicked once, twice. It studied her with a glare that seemed to say, I don't understand what's happening. Not really. Yet here I am anyway. I'm not ugly, not worthy of your fear. But you think I am. Hungry. Hungry was all I ever was. Yet for this I was despised gifted pain. Don't go in there, the woman said, her breath pluming in the frigid Chicago air. Emily had no choice. There was a job that needed to be done, and though the pay was a pittance, those pennies and dimes were enough to keep her landlord at bay and the heat on in the house. This was all the motivation she needed ensuring the embers of her courage remained stoked. And they needed stoking. Always. Hunger was such sweet fuel, second only, perhaps, to gin. Though Emily had to admit it was a little early in the day for that, even for her. Bones cracked as the old woman shook her head. Don't! That ratty face twisted tighter, she stretched out her hands, fingers knotted like the roots of some weather-beaten tree, searching for soil, for purpose. I'm hungry to save you, the gesture implied. Don't fear me. I'm not the intruder here. You are. And that place there, that place, is the trap. <laughs>